Hello and welcome back. In today's video, let's have a look how we can make a photo more interesting using gradients. So let's get started. I will start by adding a rectangle and applying a basic linear black and white gradient. Now, the idea is to create a beam of light. Let me do this by adding a point in the middle and setting this to white and making the end point black. Let me change the blend mode to linear light. As you see, this will brighten up the whites from the gradient and darken the blacks. As you see, this creates a very overexposed image. Before I do any adjustments, I will position the gradient so it fits with the image. After lowering the opacity, we already have a much better result. If I adjust the blend range, it will even look better. Looks pretty amazing already. I will mask out the top and adjust the gradient so the light only shines in the model's face. Awesome! It's a subtle difference, but because the light is shining on our face, she pops out of the image. So, this is a cool way of getting more attention to an area in the image. The light is now pure white. We can change the color to give it a much warmer look. Pretty cool, isn't it? What else can we do? I will disable this layer and add another rectangle with a gradient, but this time I will use transparent end colors instead of black. By doing this, the sides of the image will not be affected and we immediately get this nice sunshine effect. This could work very well in a photo taken outside. By adjusting the blend range, we can really make it blend in. Let's revert back to white in the middle and blacks on the outside. What I can do right now is use the Subtract Blend Mode. Using the Subtract Blend Mode, I can create a kind of vignette. In the Subtracted Blend Mode, black has no effect and the white darkens. So I will change the colors. The middle node will be set to black and the outer nodes to white. This already creates that effect I'm looking for. Let me increase the opacity to see better what is happening. I can adjust the gradient to really control which parts should be darkened. Pretty awesome. Let's continue our experiment by duplicating this layer and changing its blend mode back to linear light. This time, I will change the outer colors to green and the middle color to a transparent green. When I lower the opacity, we get this nice green color graded image, which by the way, looks pretty cool already. Let me lower the opacity of the middle node and darken the color a bit. As you see, this returns back the original colors in the face. Using the gradient, I can really control how the color should be distributed. Now, to make things really interesting, I'm going to add a circle with a radial gradient. Once I have set up my gradient, I will change its blend mode to glow. Not bad, but too much green on our shoulders and hair. How about the reflect blend mode? Yes, that looks really amazing. You can see how this reflect layer with the gradient makes the image really stand out. I will fine tune the gradient color and the blend range to get that perfect look.
Once I'm ready, I will group these two layers. If you don't like the green, we can just add an HSL adjustment and adjust the color to get exactly what we're looking for. I want to have the subtle effect on the image and this feels good. Okay, there's one thing bothering me and that is the part above her head. This is because of the first linear gradient lightening up that area. So, a quick fix for that would be just to duplicate and rasterize the layer so I can use the smudge tool to smudge the color to that area. That solves the problem. We still got a linear vignette below. Let's enable and see how that works out. Not bad, but it can be better. I will move it to the top in the layers panel and increase the opacity to see the blending better. Now I can adjust the blend range. Once I'm happy with the blend range, I will lower back the opacity, a little bit of fine tuning with the gradient, so the left side gets a little bit darker for a more dramatic look. Just perfect. It is always a good idea to make the image smaller and see if everything still looks good. Sometimes, when zoomed out, it is easier to see the errors you miss. Let's have a look at the before, and here is the after. I think the end result is subtle, but powerful at the same time. I made the image warmer and given more contrast and attention to the model. As you can see, you can create amazing results just using gradients in combination with various blend modes and blend ranges. Here are a couple of examples I created earlier. This is a simple color grade which gave the image a bluish purplish look. Let's have a quick look at the gradient. As you see, nothing special, but it completely transforms the image. Here is another example, but this time with green and a different angle in the gradient. I like this one very much, as the diagonal light brings more focus on her eyes. Let me quickly rotate the gradient to show you how this affects the image. The next one I already shown is just a kind of a linear vignette. Here is an interesting one, a more of a fantasy look. As you see, you can create pretty cool color grades using gradients. I hope this video has inspired you to experiment with gradients to make your photos get that special look. Thank you very much for watching.